Genesis chapter 8. In this chapter, we're going to continue the story of Noah and his family. Now, there's only eight people who are existing at this time. Noah, his wife, their three sons, and their wives. And I'm going to read from verses 1 through 5. Then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were also stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained, and the waters receded continually from the earth. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters decreased. Then the ark rested in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month on the mountains of Ararat, and the waters decreased continually until the tenth month, in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. So God began to remove the flood waters by creating a wind which stopped the water level from increasing, and actually it began to, to decrease. Now the ark came to rest on top of the mountains of Ararat, and some people believe that because the ark was made with pitch, which is a sealer on the inside and the outside, that it is well preserved in somewhere in the snow and ice of those mountains. Uh, they're not really sure where those mountains are located. They believe it's uh, somewhere near Turkey, but, but no one really knows. Now, in the 10th month on the ark, the tops of the mountain were becoming visible. So I'm going to continue reading verses 6 through 12. So it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Then he sent out a raven, which kept going to and fro until the waters had dried up from the earth. He also sent out from himself a dove to see if the waters had receded from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot, and she returned into the ark to him, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her and drew her into the ark to himself. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out from the ark. Then the dove came to him in the evening, and behold, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in her mouth, and no one knew that the waters had receded from the earth. So he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return again to him any more. So Noah releases a raven, and, and it went to and fro until the waters dried up from the earth. And then Noah sent out a dove, but it returned. So he sent it out seven days later, and it returned with an olive leaf. So he waited another seven days and sent it out again, and it did not return. So he knew that there would be dry land. Now I'm going to read verses 13 through 22. And it came to pass in the 601st year, in the first month, the first day of the month, that the waters were dried up from the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and indeed the surface of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the 27th day of the month, the earth was dried. Then God spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh that is with you, birds and cattle and every creeping thing that creeps on the ground, so that they may abound on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every animal, every creeping thing, every bird and whatever creeps on the earth, according to their families, went out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground of man's sake. Although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth, nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. So Noah and his family were on the ark 377 days, according to verse 14. God told Noah and his family and the animals that they could leave the ark. When they were off the ark, Noah worshipped God. God promised Noah that he would never again strike down every living creature. Now there is still judgment just like in that day of Noah, but Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him and he with me. 
So everything that God does is for his purpose. And according to 1 Peter 5.10, we serve the God of all grace. God gave grace to Noah and his family, and he continues to give grace to us as well.